Hello, you guys. Welcome to Kingdom Living Way, where love resides and God is on the move. So glad you can join me today. I just kind of want to come on here to give you a brief word. I don't know why, <laughs> but I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, you can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this or you can get with that. I think that's a song or something. But he brought that to my spirit. So I just wanted to let you know, you got a choice. <laughs> God gives us a choice. You can get with this, what God got for you, or you can get with that. Whatever's over there that's not for you or what God ain't got for you. But, you know, you can get with that if you want to. You know, people, are, when they say that. It's it's mostly the left, the leftovers are the less than. You can you can get with this or you can get with that. But anyway, guys, you got a choice to make. And see, um, when you get with this, it's 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 supposed to be better, right? When they say this right here, you know, you this right here, you know. So you uh it's supposed to be better for you. It's supposed to be the best choice. <laughs> and the that is the that. It don't even have a name for it, but it's the that. So the that's not supposed to be the better choice. Okay. So it's like God is saying you can get with this <laughs> what I have for you or you can get for that which is not my choice for you, okay? So some people are going to have to make a choice. And a lot of time, if you st stuck in your ways or you don't want to embrace change, see, that that's a, that's a, that's a issue. Because a lot of people don't, they can't get what God got for them because they don't want to embrace change. They just want to stay the same. When you when you uh, present something different to them, it's like it's it's they can't function. They can't uh, manage well because some people say, "Don't throw nothing on me," because I I don't I don't handle change well. Well, if you don't handle change well, then you're gonna be stuck well. All right, you're gonna be stuck in that place because change calls you to move. Change. Is a reaction, all right? So it's going to cause you to move and make a step for something to happen. It's like um, when they say this has changed, it's changed from one way to another way, okay? That's what change means. Or you move from one position to another position. That was a change made, okay? So you can get with this or you can get with that, <laughs> It's the choice you got to make. All right. Now, what's it? What's what's on the east side? Now, it's going to be some different results. But I know when, when it be this or that, most of the time, the this is the right thing. You can get with this or you can get with that. Okay, you guys. And another thing I want to throw in. Um, see, God is saying... And he done shift me that quick. I have. Whew, thank you Lord. This is what I have for you right here. This is the plan I have for you. This is what. has been here the whole time. Okay. And who all, whoever involved with this plan. Now that over there. That's not yours. That's 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 not yours. But that's what you want. That's what you've been seeking after. But that's not what I have for you. So it's got to, you're gonna have to make a choice. Whew. You going to have to make a choice because things must be in alignment and must be moving according to the plan and the will. You can't keep prolonging the choice that you need to make. See, you can't be prolonging people. Some, in other words, oh my God, 
Some people are prolonging the time and they're riding it out. They're saying, I'm going to ride this out. Okay. Instead of them making a the choice, they say, excuse, I'm going to ride it out and see how things going to be. Now, some things you might can do that. But whatever God is talking about, this is this ain't no riding nothing out. That's the thing about it. You've been riding too long. It's time to make a choice. Oof. Oh, my God. You can get with this or you can get with that. Woo! My God, my God. It's time to make a choice. You have had ample time. Oh, my God, my God, my God. It's not hard when you really desire the will for God in your life. And you say, Lord, not my will, but let that will be done. See, that's a place. You have to get to that place to lay your will down. And to go with the will of God. Because see, you know you in the safe place. You know you in the right place when you in the will. Because he the one has made us. He the one has set things in order for us. Our life is set in order by God. So these people have been holding up things so they think. Or so they not think. But things have been held up for a reason. But doesn't mean it's not yours. God hold things to get us prepared. But I feel an urgency coming on. Whew. I feel that there's no longer um delays. All right. This thing gotta move. Whew. This, this, whew. I don't know. Oh my God. It's like it's 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 got to move. It's got to move. It's, it's like the ship gotta sail. Whew. And this ship going to take out with you or without you. You got to make a choice. Whew, the ship got to say, oh, my God, oh, my God. If God had to change the captains on these ships, he going to change the captains. He had to get a new captain. Oh, my God. He going to get a new captain for these ships because he, he can't not keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Because some people will never move. They will never change. They gotta, if, if you don't push them or give them a choice to make. You got to place a choice, a, a decision in front of them, a choice in front of them, or they will not make a decision. But the ship going to sail with or without them. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's like it's, it's hot. As they say, it's hot time. It's hot time. It's hot time. Somebody got to make this decision. Woo! You can get with this, or either you're going to get with that. Mm. You can get with this, or you can get with that. Oh, my gosh. Whew. You guys, <laughs> God ain't playing. God is not playing. You got to get your focus. You got to ask. You got to talk to God. Oh, my God. He been putting this in my spirit. For some of you guys that are torn between two opinions or torn between two uh, decisions or what you should do. How about I ask God to show you how your life would be with this decision versus the other decision, all right? Sometimes that's what people have to see before they can uh, do what they have to do in the situation. How would your life be? Use, for example, if you take that job, against another job or if you marry this person against that person or you do um even could be something simple as buying a, a car you know or doing any kind of task or assignment you have a choice ask god first of all you need to ask which is the better choice and if that ain't gonna do it for you because sometimes god been untold you you still dragging and stuff ask him to show you little bits and pieces about how it would be if you make this decision versus you make the other decision all right because some people it's hard it's a hard case some people are hard because they 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 have problem with the wheel situation they want they they want to their wheel and they want God will. But see, God ain't going to force nothing on you. Because you do have a choice. All right. Either, But the ultimate will is God will. I heard a minister say it one time. Say, you think 
Your will going to overrule God's will. Or more important than God's will. You tripping. <laughs> and that is true. So, he will give you your will. What you want. But it's not in alignment with his will. And I really believe you guys. When you don't submit. To the will of God. So you going on in your own will. That's disobedient. Because God has been calling you to do whatever he's called you to do. And you decide you want to go in another direction. Now, I can't say how your life going to turn out. But I know he's calling you to the will. And you not answering the call. So that's disobedient. Now, if you in disobedient, things are not going to go right like you think they are. Because you are out of the will. Oof. Because you is on your own will. All right. So that's a difference. And people want to say, Lord, not my will. Let thy will be done. But when he tried to give you the will, you said, oh, I don't know about this. See, that's that's what, that's what I'm saying when you too focus on the things of the world. See, that'll do it too, on the things of the world. What you can grasp and hold, the lifestyle, this person. Some people caught up in people. God is telling him to get away from these folks. They no good for you. But you see, you, that's what happened when you're dipping and dabbing in the world. You know they no no good for you, but a part of you are just like them. All right? Because you're doing some things together with the people in the world. But God is saying, come out from among them and be separated, says the Lord. So it's about his will. And, and, I, and I begin to meditate on that about the will. If God has called you to be on a, um, I just say this is a destiny call. Okay, the destiny call is in the will of God. He's going to equip you. He's been preparing you for this. This is your, your, your uh, assignment. This is the destiny he has for your life. But you telling God, I don't want this. Because I don't want to leave behind the things that are connected with the world. Because that's what happens. Because you're not focusing 100 on the will of God. Because you've been distracted. Because you're trying to mix God and the world together. Oh, Oh, my God, that's what's going on. They're trying to have a little God and a little of the world. But when you're sold out to the master, whoof, master Jesus, when you're sold out to God, you leave out that world. You know the world cares for his own. And the world don't care about you. 